Good evening, everyone. My name is Steve Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome to the first episode of The Stanley Parable. Um, I know this game was like back in 2013 or something like that, and a bunch of people have played it. I've never played it, so I want to jump in here and do it. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Have you ever played Stanley Parable before? No. I have not. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Oh, oh is, it, is it barely? How's it look over there on your side? You know what? That's that's good. That's good. Please enter your current time. Uh, wouldn't you be able to see this anyway? Uh, Eleven. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Yeah, that's right. Confirm. Okay. Accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Okay. I've never played this before. I've I've heard good things. I've heard good things about the Stanley Parable. You are playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, it's like a thing within a thing. Oh, I can't see any pixels. I wonder if it... Oh, it is. Even on that, like, fourth screen in, you can see it. Wow. Okay. Begin the game. The end is never the end. Uh, is my face too big? Did, is it... Is it massively huge? Is it a huge face? This is the story of a man named oh. Stanley. Oh. Did I skip intro? I didn't want to skip intro. Hold on. Can we... Okay. Let's try that again. Wait. What happened? No. Uh, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Alright, let's try this again. I'm just gonna hit play. Maybe I'll pause it for a second. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we're we're back to the setup page. Hold on, why can I not see anything? All right, uh, eleven. It's forty now. Eleven forty. Confirmed. Hang on, hang on. I didn't do that a second ago. Uh, it says to click. Before we can get started, I just need to say something. Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. <laughs> a lot of people don't take that step seriously. Just leave it clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you actually took the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience, that you're, you're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game in the screen, set the clock to your favorite time. Okay. Go ahead. Pick whichever time you want. Even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. Alright. Let uh, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Okay, developers. That was that was cute little time. Alright, let's begin. This is the story of a man named Stanley. There we go. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. 
He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Achievement unlocked. Welcome back. Get your first achievement. Oh, you guys aren't seeing those down in the corner, are you? Okay, hold on. Um, can I can I adjust this? I want to adjust my face. No, not that. I don't want to adjust that. I want to adjust this. There. There we go. There we go. If I'm up here in the corner, now I look like Jacksepticeye or maybe uh, PewDiePie or something like that. There we go. Or don't, don't they go a little bit smaller? They go one-third size, right? Boop, there we go. That that looks good. <coughs> if you can't hear it in my voice, I'm still feeling pretty bad. Feeling under the weather. Weather. There's uh There's something under the desk. F1. Okay. My keyboard is broken. It's not doing anything. Can we read any of this? Um, whenever I first did this, I really thought I was going to have... I hate Mondays. <laughs> um, the ability to play it in VR. But I was wrong. VR is being made for it. And if it, VR ever comes out and I, I get a good response for it, I will actually play it. Can I call someone? Uber, come pick me up. Take me home. Uh, it is currently... It is not the time that I said... Actually, wait, is it? No. Mine's 11.45. That is way off. Okay. I feel much taller in real life. Oh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, maybe I did. Copy machines running. Stanley went around. No matter how hard Stanley oh. looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Number one dad. Uh oh. Just turned off his computer. I don't even. I, I didn't even read what was on the screen. That's okay. Where's the meeting room? That guy's got an old version of Windows. You need an update, dude. It's like back rooms. Oh, it's the back rooms. Okay. Nothing in here. I hate Mondays again. Picture of a leaf. 4.15. Is that a troll face? Somebody got a troll face on there. Sales in this quarter? This does not make sense. Projections? Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. I'm going to the door on the left. It's very smooth. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So I, I don't know what day of the week it is, but weekly targets, there's nothing there. Ideas for development, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Do not alter without getting, without consulting whiteboard manager. Who is the whiteboard manager? Cabal planning, smiley face, floor 4XX meeting room. Rip Franz. 
this something is too small this box is too small <laughs> okay what do we have Ross F02 targets push for funding R&D new coffee machine not cost effective standardized graphics 40 times wide who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on topic. Smudge, 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 smudge. Future of yesterday, tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda items. Reflect. Employees, 417, 491, 431, Jim. What was, what was mine? I don't even remember what my, my number was. Synergize, core value, expenditures, shift global. See, this is one of the things that I hate about like marketing and stuff like that. A lot of catch words and a lot of non like efficiency, synergy, like listen to what people are saying and see if it actually makes sense. Because it it doesn't. Most of the time it's just business jargon. Like Profits and proficiencies and, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. What's that mean, though? Seriously. Rate at which chart, charts on the same slide deprecate. Rate of increase in graph sizes. Stop, stop, stop. Please, no more charts. The boss appreciation minute on your boss appreciation worksheet. Circle the top 20 things that you love most about your boss. Fill out in triplicate and return to your boss appreciation. Solve the interpersonal conflict if you ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, uh, but more inclined conflict. Ugh, I can't even read it. It's going too fast. Oh, what's this? More charts and things. Okay. Broom closet. Oh, hello. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Oh, uh, okay. I like how it told me that I was doing that. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Must be... Nope, that's executive bathroom. Okay. Is that my boss's office? That must not be my boss's office. Oh, hello. Even the secretary's gone for the day. Must be a Saturday or something. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, oh, yeah, Stanley was once it. again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28 four five but of course Stanley couldn't possibly have known this yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad Stanley happened to input the correct what? code by sheer luck amazing he stepped into the newly opened passageway what Link plus. I think that's just insulation. Oh my. Oh, it's super dark. What's an elevator? I thought it was just an arrow pointing down. I'm like, no. Loading. So I must have done something right. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, 
when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. What? Escape. Escape? I want to see what's inside the mind control facility. Is that a button? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes. I got the strength to find out. All right, what is this? It's another I hate Mondays cup. Cameras. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay. Elevator? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Whoa. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, okay, I'm down. Uh, how? Did I just press this button? Oh, there's a button up there. Hold on. How do I get to that button? There's a button. Oh, there's a staircase. Oh, I'm not on the staircase. Hold on. How do I get to that stairs? Oh, I can't see anything. Can you guys see? There must be something else. Oh, maybe big facility power door over there. Okay. What does it say in the corner down there? Line control. And when at last he found the source of the room's Spare. power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. Off, I guess? Okay. Did I do good? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! Oh, oh. He had won! He had defeated the machine! 
unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Hmm. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the that was immense a very short possibility game. of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Achievement unlocked, beat the game. It was 21 minutes. No, there's got to be more. Okay, so is this the twist that you guys were telling me? That there's like... Here, All of it. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> okay, narrator. Turn off your computer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break everybody's work. Waiting input. Input received. Okay. Huh. <laughs> nice. No. Uh oh. Somebody dropped a coffee. Oh, that door shut. Sweet. 416, 415. Nothing, nothing, nothing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did I? <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, this is not the same storyline. I gotcha. I gotcha. Four forty five, your your desk is a mess. Mm. Four B nine. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Uh, I'd like a cup of coffee, if that's what you mean by drinking it all in. Can we... Can, is there... Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, 
Here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. What if I just don't move forward? Does he keep talking? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall <laughs> personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> Hold on. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> Are you? Are you trying to send me a message? Do I need to know something here? Okay, fine. We'll go. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing <coughs> room, and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. That door's closed. That door's closed. That door's closed. First door on my left. Nope. I'm doing not what the narrator says this time. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Takes a key card for that one. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of cool. Do not jump from cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse, 1,000. Penalty for jumping, 5,000. <laughs> so if you jump, it's going to cost you more. Look, right. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. We? Oui. I'm not your enemy, but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story <laughs> and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> okay, that was cute. Um, don't jump off cargo lifts. Uh... <laughs> So, that's the start of Stanley Parable. Uh, I, I feel like I'm... I feel like it's one of those games that has, like, multiple endings, and the narrator's there just kind of, like, bugging you to push you along. Anyhow, I did purchase the deluxe version because it had been out for a long time. I'd never played it. I'd seen a couple things where, like, it didn't really make sense, but that was fun. So... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things you're supposed to call out at the end of the video. So like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's your... You, you can or you, you don't have to. It's up to you. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.